right, so welcome back everyone. Uh, this is lesson, lesson number eight, I believe. And in this lesson, we're going to be creating some posts that will be protected uh, from the uh, users who are not members of our membership site. So uh, let's get started. So uh, to start with, I'm going to go to my WP admin dashboard and I'm just going to create a new category for the protected posts. We're going to call them protected videos protected videos yeah and just did it for the description we're also going to say protected videos here and so every post that is in this category is going to be uh, it's going to be basically protected we're going to configure member best to, to do it later but uh, so for now we're also going to need a plugin for video uh, for embedding videos on our website and the reason why we're going to use an external plugin and not the built-in uh, video player is because it's much easier to steal and download your video using the built-in HTML5 player so if I just go to HTML5 video player I can show you some examples uh, for example in Chrome if you just click on three options here and click on download it can be easily downloaded but if we're going to use a plugin, I'm going to show you, it's going to be much harder for, for non-tech users to, to steal your video, even though it's still going to be, like the video file itself is still going to be uh, accessed to anybody. And this is just because the, because the way browsers work, it's going to be really, uh, it's going to be much harder to steal the video, but people will still be able to do this if they really wanted to. Another option for protecting your content would be using Vimeo, Paid or Vistia but even with those software, your videos can still be downloaded. It's just that these, these guys make it so much harder to download the video that, that it's like only a few pe people know how to do this, but uh, you can still do it. So there is no like 100% protection uh, for your videos, your files. And that's just because of the way the browsers work. I'm not just going, I'm not going to go into much details in here right now, but in order to protect them, you would be need to make some a lot of custom like code and protection to, to protect the video. So this is beyond this tutorial, but we're going to make it really hard for anyone to download the videos, which is good enough for most membership sites. So we're going to go to plugins, add new, and the plugin name is, I believe it's video JS. If I just type it here, if I just go to let me just quickly check it. I believe it's this one. Um, yep, it's VideoJS HTML5 player. Click on install. So you can see it's five, it has a five star, star rating here. All right, let's activate it. Give it a second, VideoJS. Go to settings. Yeah, nothing here for now documentation let's just go quickly to the documentation page and I'm looking for short codes yeah so the way you embed a video on the website is using this short code video GS URL and the URL to the video so let's just create a quickly one post all posts uh, yeah let's let's remove this one hello world and let's just Click on add new and the name of the post is going to be uh, Google Marketing Essentials. Now uh, I need to add the post to the protected videos category. Uh, let's just for now, let's also go to featured image, set a featured image. Let me just upload some images that I have for, for these posts pre uh, prepared. Uh, it's going. I'm going to go to MS Course and going to upload these six images for six posts. Now we're going to use this image, but let's wait till other images are loaded. Uh, click on Set Featured Image. Boom. And so now we're going to uh, also go to Media Library. And I want to upload one video quickly that we're going to be using. We'll be using this one video to uh, for all 
basically for all posts, but just to show you how it works. So it's Gary's video on how he does Instagram marketing, his famous dollar a strategy. Uh, so let's just wait for it to upload. Give it a second. Maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, so in the meantime, I'm going to copy this short code here. Click on plus, I believe we have to search for short code. Short code and just, we're just going to have to change the URL. So I, if I click on this video, I can just here, go here, just select it all. Select it all. Uh, yeah, if I click three times on the video, I should be select all. I should be able to select the full URL and I'm going to change this URL to the one that I just copied and yeah, that's basically it. And we're going to add a paragraph below. It's going to say, this lesson we're going to learn Google marketing essentials. And I believe this is it. Let's just click on publish, publish, and let's just view the post. Yeah, so it's looking ugly for now, but we're going to fix it. Uh, yeah, so let's just go back. Let's go to Elementor and we're going to, I mean, sorry, Elementor templates and we're going to go to Theme Builder, go to Single, Add New Single. We're going to create basically a template for the posts uh, that all posts will be using. So we have Single selected here, select post type is going to be post. And for the template, we're going to use, going to name it single post. Create template, all right. So once again, I'm going to use this uh, template that I created earlier, membership sign up template. I'm going to click on insert. Yes, and give it a second to insert it. So uh, we're going to get rid of most of this stuff. Sorry, not this one, uh, this short code. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete this text, this one as well. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is, uh, give me a second guys. We're going to, first of all, change the background of this box. It's going to be this one. Uh, for the, we're going to delete this list, this sub, adding this, on everything almost everything and here I'm going to delete this one as well I'm going to as you can see there is a section called single and I'm going to drag and drop a post title here and it says Google marketing essentials yeah so I'm going to make it centered change the style change the color to be white what I'm going to do next is uh, add a, a block called it's called post info post info Where is it? yep all right let me just drag and drop it here and so it says comments date and time of publishing who has published it so i'm going to remove the author here uh, yeah for now uh, it should be good let me just align it in the middle change the color of the icon to be this yellow and change the text to be white and maybe also indent it a little bit more All right so now we have information how many comments uh who posted it uh, i'm sorry what, when was it posted i'm also going to go to this section and make the bottom padding actually you know what it's going to be fine and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to post content and drag and drop it to our column here and as you can see, we have this, uh, yeah, basically content here. I'm going to change the text color to be black, right? And what I'm going to do now is I also want to display comments. So I'm going to click on this section and just click on duplicate it. Then I'm going to uh, remove this post content widget here. And I'm going to drag and drop the post comments here. Uh, 
this widget, right? And so I'm going to go to this section now, go to advanced and I'm going to change the margin to zero. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to go to this section, go to advanced, I believe so. Oh, not even this section, sorry, column. Sorry again, I'm going to change the margin to zero, maybe not even zero, like 20 pixels. So that we have some gap between these, between these two sections. Uh, maybe even 40 pixels. Let's try it out and see. Yep, looks good to me. And I'm going to click on publish. Now uh, I'm going to leave this condition as uh, as it is. So we're going we're going to use it for all posts. Yeah, click on save and close. And so we have a template for our, for our post. Let's just quickly go to WP admin again. Sorry, wrong, wrong key. <laughs> Let's just go to WP admin posts and click on view here. And as you can see, we have this uh, post style. We have a video, we, get, we have some content. I can even go to edit post and I'm going to probably give some more space between uh, this video and this piece of text. Obviously you can write, add multiple videos, write some, some text in here. Uh, sorry, where was it? yeah, it's here. So let's just refresh it. Looks good to me. Let's just leave a comment as post a comment. And now we have comments in here. I can reply here, what's up? So we have this nice, nice comment structure in below. We have this post here. Not sure why these icons are not displaying, but let me just quickly try to fix that. Style, icon. What happens if I change the color to like black? here no that's what not working um that's weird just quickly let me just try to see what's going on hmm. that's weird um uh, i'm going to check what's going on and try to fix it but for now uh i'll let you know in the, in the next tutorial but for now this is how we're going to this is the template that we're going to be using for a single post. Looks looks decent to me, to be honest. Um, so in the next tutorial, we're going to uh, create a dashboard page where we are going to be uh, showing people all of the posts that they get uh, once they become a member. And we're going to create some additional posts and protect the content. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll try to respond. Thanks.